I can't say how much it's meant to me and my family for you all to give us continued uh, well wishes. And so it brings me to the issue of gratitude. If you look on your table, I have put an article out of what I call the health benefits of gratitude. The benefits studies have shown that if you show gratitude, you have decreased blood pressure, stress, and depression. And so we're grateful today to have Megan Timlin, who is from Kipsfield High School. She is the academic coordinator and internship coordinator for the Business Academy. And as you go out through your day, I want you to read the article that I have on the table to show you those uh, health benefits of gratitude. But more importantly, I want you to start your day with your family, letting them know how much you appreciate them and what they mean to you. Because I think in this world full of evil, we as Rotarians can be an example to the world of showing how you express gratitude and the changes that it can make. So Megan, we're grateful today to have you. Please come and share the podium and I will take a seat. Thank okay, you. Thank you. welcome song is like apt for me because this is not my first time um, being with the Rotary. Um, I am a Kempsville High School graduate. Um, my family, I was born and raised in Kempsville, clearly did not go outside my comfort zone at all. Um, after college, I returned to Kempsville High School to teach. Um, and so as a teacher, I actually benefited from your Teacher of the Year project um, that you donate money towards the Teacher of the Year, and I was actually the recipient of that. So thank you. I mean, I, I'm sure I said it years ago when I came to breakfast. Um, and then you all have supported the Kempsville High School Leader Support Staff under my direction um, when, when I was a teacher and sponsor at Kempsville. So um, this is certainly not my first rodeo with the Rotary, and I, I love that you all continue to support Kempsville High School. Um, I left for a few years to become an assistant principal and pursue my own professional goals, um, and was thrilled to be invited back to Kempsville to open um, the Entrepreneurship and Business Academy at Kempsville High School. So those of you that are longtime Virginia Beach residents, um, I'm sure you know it, in the late 90s, early 2000s, Virginia Beach embarked on a series of academic academy programs in their high schools. We have 11 high schools in Virginia Beach, um, and we, have, we had seven academy programs at 11 of those high schools up until last year. Um, we are the first academy program under Dr. Spence. Um, our previous superintendent had stopped academy programs being created. So um, Kempsville, Cox High School, Kellum High School um, did not have academy programs. Um, and it didn't look like we would ever get academy programs again. They, the Virginia Beach City Public Schools said they cost a lot of money to transport kids around the city. So they had kind of stopped doing that. Um, but luckily, um, Mr. Harris, um, our principal at Kempsville, was doing a series of community forums to revive our Kempsville community. And at the same time, we had um, an inspirational leader in Dr. Spence who wanted and is very passionate about entrepreneurship and wanted an academy at Kempsville High School with business and entrepreneurship. So it was kind of like a meeting of the minds um, for Mr. Harris and Dr. Spence, like timing's everything. And it all kind of happened to seem like a long-term project because it takes a lot of support from a school board um, to want to put money into a brand new program. Um, and it's just like timing's everything. It just kind of all fell into place in pretty much less than a year. Um, I was hired in August of 2015 um, to put together the Entrepreneurship and Business Academy at Kempsville High School. And we have just opened, we've been open since September 6th, so a little over a month. Um, with our first class of students. So I basically had a planning year last year to get it ready. Um, and I know that Charlie's been trying to get me in for the last year. Uh, so, so I'm glad to finally be here, because Charlie always asks me when he sees me in the hallway. Um, so uh, the Entrepreneurship and Business Academy was approved by our school board in October of 2015. Um, and we opened to our first class of students on September 6, 2016. So it's really exciting for us. Um, and just to share a little bit more about our academy with you, I have a great video that I will show. I'm Hunter Strine. I graduated Kempsville High School in 2015, and now I attend James Madison University. Where are you plans to study business? My name is Katie Stokely. I graduated Kempsville High School in 2015, and I am now at the University of Virginia. Where she hopes to be in the Commerce School. <laughs> As members of a business club last spring, Katie and Hunter proposed a unique business innovation academy for their alma mater. Fortunately, the school system was thinking the same way. So starting next fall, 
the entrepreneurship and business academy at Kempsville High School will take you. Some of the classes that I'm in right now um, probably would have been easier if there was a program such like the entrepreneurship uh, academy here while I attended school. The people are reading the applications out of McIntyre, seeing you went to a business academy and seeing all the stuff you've learned even before you enter college would really give you an advantage over other students. Open to students citywide who apply and are accepted. The Academy will have three academic strands, entrepreneurship and innovation, business information technology, and corporate finance. We want to give students the opportunity to see all aspects of what it means to start a business, to take an idea and actually turn it into a product that then they can promote and sell and pitch to a group of community business partners. Would you like to manage that, that quote? The more we can expose them to business and to marketing early on, they can start making really educated decisions about their future. And that, in my opinion, that's what high school is all about. The academy will feature a maker space similar to this one, where students can actually fashion ideas into products using 3D printers and other tools. It will be available to other Inventive Beach residents after school hours. Hallway lockers will be removed and replaced with computer charging stations and collaborative business brainstorming settings. And as part of a dual enrollment program, more ambitious academy students can take classes at Tidewater Community College. A student could earn two years of college and when they graduate from high school, they're graduating with an associate's degree as well. The academy will ask local business people to guide these future titans of commerce and take them on as interns, a requirement for every seat. Entrepreneurship in the Hattiegroves region has really, in my opinion, been a uh, weak link. Warren Harris says the city will be a strong partner because a creative workforce is essential to business recruitment. This is going to be a transformational opportunity for our market and for our region, and quite more frankly for our economy. If I had a son or a daughter that were a rising freshman, I, I would definitely put them in this program because I, I think it's invaluable, I really do. You're a little jealous of what they're gonna bother. Yeah, I am. I was like, I really wish that could have been me, but I'm happy for all the people that get to take advantage of this awesome opportunity. Essentially, we want them to come back to Virginia Beach and create these businesses that they start when they're in high school. Hunter Sarine intends to return to run his family's plumbing company. I love Virginia Beach. I love just being here and I love being a part of the community. And I hopefully someday wish to contribute to the entrepreneurship program here at Kemso. So sorry about some of the quality and um, that was Joel Rubin. Um, some of you all might know Joel. Um, and Joel's been a huge um, proponent of our program and has, has helped us with that um, particular video. So that kind of highlights a lot of the things that we're doing in Kempsville. Um, and if I don't get to everything, at least you know a little bit about um, our program. And that video is on YouTube, too. Um, so who are our students? Because we currently have them. We have 109 freshmen right now. Um, the pie charts are hard to see. Um, so going through an academy program process, students apply from across the city. Um, to be able to come. Until this year, Kempsville High School students had to live in Kempsville High School zone, um, whereas other schools, uh, seven other high schools, can pull from anywhere in the city. So this is the first time we've been open, able to open our doors to students from across Virginia Beach. Um, and this um, kind of shows the distribution among all of the middle schools. We have um, 14, all 14 middle schools represented. I have a homeschool student. I have a student from California who applied and got in. Um, they moved here, obviously. Um, and I, I have private school students. So I have a wide range of students from um, all over the city who are attending Kempsville. Um, but you'll see our largest pie pieces are Kempsville Middle and Larkspur. So, um, and that kind of is, this is our representation amongst the high schools, where our students would have gone to high school. And our largest pie pieces are, again, Kempsville zoned. Because when we did this, um, Kempsville's a very established school. It's been around for 50 years. We're celebrating our 50th year in that building, but actually Kempsville's older than that because we were in the building across the street and then another building before that. So Kempsville is a very traditional um, environment. It was very important to people to keep Kempsville, Kempsville. You can't necessarily do that if you also open the doors and invite everyone in. So it was nice that a big chunk of our students were in zone anyway, and it was also nice to be able to bring in kids from across the city to show how great Kempsville really is, because that's what it's about. It's spreading Kempsville across the city, not just in our own little pocket, which is what we've done for a long time. 
Um, these are our students. I'm proud to be able to share pictures of them. Um, they are an awesome group of 109 kids. They are so motivated. We had our first master class um, yesterday afternoon and 40 of them stayed after school to hear Joel Rubin speak about how he started his business. Um, and that's just cool to me because as an SCA advisor, I used to have to beg kids to stay after school and I'd have maybe 10. But there were 40 yesterday that just wanted to stay after to hear what he had to say. Um, so it's really, really fun to work with a motivated group of students um, who are really interested in business and entrepreneurship. So we have three strands of study that our students can um, embark on while they're with us. And you heard that in the video, entrepreneurship and innovation, business information technology, and corporate finance. Um, so some of our courses in 10th grade, these are what the student will take um, next year based on, and it's based on um, their strand of study and where they might be. So these are courses for the entrepreneurship and innovation stream. Um, and I'll, I'll go over ninth grade in a minute. And, and then in our um, business information technology strand, these are courses that our students would take in 10, 11, and 12. We have a partnership with the Advanced Technology Center in Virginia Beach, which offers state-of-the-art programs there. So we are not replicating that in our school. We are just sending them to where they already do it really, really well, which we think is smart. Um, and those are some of the ATC programs. They do cybersecurity, web design, digital design, and graphics. They get great internships um, through the ATC. The ATC is just an amazing program. Um, and then we have our corporate finance strand. And then these are what our students will study what, if they embark into that strand. Um, so what happens in ninth grade? Ninth grade, they all take the same thing. Um, so that's been easy this year. Uh, they take an Academy Honors English 9. So that's an academy class. It's English with a business twist. So their writing might be a little bit different. They're looking at leadership and collaboration and public speaking skills in a more business mindset way. They're looking at how they work in groups. Um, our world studies for business is our world history class. So it's basically world history, but we're trying to pull out those business elements. So what did trade look like? What were economics like way back when? What you know? How did the bartering system you know work? And that's how you know employees or you know, businesses sustain themselves. So it's looking at it from a historical <coughs> standpoint, pulling up, they have to still know the historical facts, but what effects did it have on business, entrepreneurship, economics, those types of things. Um, they take regular math and science, just whatever math and science they're in. Um, and then our academy courses are the electives. They take an introduction course, and that's where they are exposed to all three strands before making a decision about what they choose to enroll in in 10th grade. Because um, 10th grade is where they kind of branch off in three different ways. They all come in and do the same set of things. And then they will branch off next year into what they really want to study. So they're specializing in an area. And then they also take a set of semester courses, critical issues in business, and idea generation and creative problem solving. Um, and those courses were just to give ninth graders an opportunity to talk about business for us to talk with them about things that we you know expect to give them exposure to different types of business leaders um, we are honestly surprised how much they don't know um, we thought maybe you know coming in as the academy students interested in business they might know a little bit more so we're finding in that class is really really valuable for us to be able to give a strong foundation about what business and management is and what role ideas play in that because businesses all start with an idea. How do you get that idea? Um, and some of them don't even know that because we teach oftentimes so much to a test and a multiple choice that they don't necessarily know how to think outside the box. And so our goal in our, our program is that we're going to teach them to creatively problem solve, to critically think and use their brains. And that has become hard for them. Um, it's interesting to watch. Um, they take health and PE, they have to have a foreign language, and then some of our students are either taking health and PE online right now so they can have a ninth course or they took it over the summer. Um, we have a technical drawing course where our students will be able to learn AutoCAD um, and Solid Professor, which is the how do you use and run the, the MakerBot printers, the 3D printers that we have. So um, they have a lot of options in ninth grade. Um, you heard in our video, and this is a, a huge selling point, kind of a big focal area for a lot of folks is we have a partnership with Tidewater Community College where our students can pursue a two-year associate's degree in business administration um, through Tidewater Community College at no charge to them and their families if they are an enrolled academy student. So that is a huge selling point for our families. It can save families a lot of money um, and we've been meeting with our parents about this. 
a lot and try to explain that to them, yes, it is a tremendous opportunity, but it is also a very rigorous approach to academics. So the child has to be ready for college. Um, we are going to provide the opportunity, but the child's got to be ready to take advantage of that opportunity. Um, and so we, we're working with Tidewater to make sure they're college ready and all that kind of stuff. But um, it, it really is an exciting thing for our students, and they have the opportunity to earn the 61 credit degree, and they could potentially be graduating from TCC in May and then getting their high school diploma in June of 2020 and starting college as a junior in the fall. So, which is crazy for us to think about, but it's possible. Um, it's also possible that they take a couple classes, and those classes could transfer to the college of their choice. So it's really about the personalized learning approach for the, that particular student, that particular family, what that student's capable of. Um, and we are just at the, the beginning of all of that. Um, so some of our highlights, obviously, the Associate's Degree with Highwater Community College. Um, it is one of our goals. Our students have to complete a senior internship. Um, and that's part of why these community presentations are great for us um, as you know my, my children are just freshmen right now so um, in a few years we'll be looking for you know 109 internships for them they've got to be placed that's part of their program um, we hope that they are capable in high school to be able to do the work um, of a college student or of a business professional because we hope we've prepared them for that um, that's a real test for them a real test for us so that internship is really really important to us um, so if you own a business or you work for a business and you wouldn't mind taking a college or a high school student on in, you know, three years or so, certainly my information is on the table. I have a handout and I have a brochure on there and um, my email is on there. Um, we are, we'll have some construction at Kepsville High School. Um, it's repurposing of space um, and it is academy space. Um, and so that's really exciting for us to include those additional new learning spaces that you kind of saw in the video. Um, a maker space will be built where they can tinker and play after school. It eventually will be open to the community on a membership basis for the community be, to be able to come in and use our resources. Um, and we'll have some you know, hallways that look like classrooms, so where the students can meet, hold their own business meetings, they'll have their own conference room. So um, it'll look really cool. That starts this summer, that construction. And it's just in one wing of the, the building. All of Kemp still looks the same. We aren't moving across the street into the apartments. We are in the, that's what my, kid, my our students thought we were moving into the way the apartments. I was like, that's not for us. We're just getting a little wing in the building. Um, our students have access to over 25 industry certifications, and they do have to at least complete one certification before graduation. And that, that'll be easy. Our students will graduate with multiple certifications. They're going to earn at least three this year as ninth grade. Um, and they will take the Microsoft Office Specialist Master Certification, which is a great one for them to have as um, young business leaders. Um, and obviously, being a Kempstall Chief is a really great thing. Um, these are some of the pictures of our design learning spaces, our new spaces. Um, and these should be scrolling on a website, or on our Kempstall High School website, um, very soon, if you would like to see them in more detail. Um, but they will have their, like I said, their own conference room. They will have their own seminar space, which they can pitch ideas. Um, of their own um, and we can host meetings and things like that so very cool spaces for our students they are really excited about that um, partners have been huge these are the folks that have formally stepped up at this point and are formal partners with the academy um, not just Kempsville High School. We look at the Kemp, we know that you guys are a Kempsville High School partner, so we have you on a list as well. Um, but these are partners that have just signed up to work with the academy um, at this time. Um, so that's just a snapshot. I have over 80 contacts who are also interested in working with us. So the business community has been amazing. I mean, I have over 100. It's, it's honestly more than I can manage as one person working in this academy right now. Um, so it's tremendous the amount of support from our business community and what they want to, how they want to engage with us, how they want to work with our students that at this point, I only have 109 of them. Like there's only so much I can do before we're, we're spread pretty thin. But right next week we have Academy Information Night and our application opens up again for me to accept our next class of students. So we only grow over the course of time. And in four years we will be a fully functioning Academy, hopefully with 500 kids within the four classes of 12, 11th, 10th, and 9th grade. Um, we just start with one class at a time. Um, so for more information, this is a slide with my information and how to find us. Um, and that is, uh, there is a, a one-pager uh, and a brochure, and my information's on both, either one. Uh, if you're interested, um, you, 
my emails on there. You're welcome. I didn't bring business cards because it's, it's on here. Um, it's also on the Kentville High School website. These are our brochures, um, and they're on the table as well. Um, just if you're interested in learning more, connecting with us. Um, we also have a Facebook page where we show off all the things that our students are doing. Um, and we're on Twitter as well. So we really try to be transparent with our community and our parents. Um, our parents love it because we post pictures almost every day of what their kids are doing in school, which is really, really cool. Um, and it's neat to be able to break down those walls. Because so often, you know, your kid comes home and you're like, what did you do all day? And they don't tell you anything. Well, now you can go on Facebook and see what your kid actually did today. Um, sometimes we give a recap of what they did in each class. So um, what do you do with an idea? Um, you apply to the Entrepreneurship and Business Academy at Kempsville High School and find out. Um, so thank you very much for having me this morning. Um, and there are... There's always some questions I don't think I, I, I can talk forever. Um, so I don't know if you have specific questions, and you're welcome to reach out. Yes, Dave. Of the uh, students that you've got this year, how many students did you bring to Kempsville High School that wouldn't have been there otherwise? Oh, uh, you, you know, know the you know, I, mean, that actually I don't, because I don't. I know about 25% of our class would have come to Kempsville anyway. So 25% so of 109. Yeah. Roughly 75. Mm -hmm. So, and our cap, just so you know, our cap isn't 109, our cap is 125. Um, so, uh, what happens is, and we're the new academy, so you've got to imagine, and you guys, I'm sure, had kids or have kids that are going through this process. When you're picking a high school, and this is, this is a bit of a risk because we're not proven. You know, we don't, we can't, I can say what I hope we'll do in 12th grade, and I know that hope you know, isn't always the best word to use. I know what I'm going to do to make it happen for them. But they're, they're coming in not having talked to someone who's graduated from our program. So this was a risk for our families and our students. And um, we did really well in the application process. We had over 260 applicants last year. Um, but I, I'll be honest, we offered probably to over 200 um, and to end up with our 109. And how we how that happens is, is they apply to multiple academies in Virginia Beach. And it's hard for us to compete with the Princess Anne International Baccalaureate Program, a math and science program at Ocean Lakes, a global world study at Tallwood. Um, we are the first new academy in 10 years. So it's been a decade since our school division has done this. So pretty much everyone that is a part of the bringing on this academy was never a part of bringing on any of the others. We're all new. So we're figuring out as we go um, and it's tough for people to, to choose us, um, but we're, like I said, we're embarking and, you know, the more traction we get and as we have students coming in, our parents are singing our praises in the community about their experience so far. All of that helps us hopefully increase our numbers and increases the caliber of students that we're getting in Hempsville. I'm proud to say we already have our first state champion. Um, one of our students won state golf this week, which was incredible. He's our freshman. He's in the EBA. He's my one from California. I mean, crazy. We already have a state champion. So we're already increasing Kempsville stock just by being there. So it, it's good. It's good to be able to report. It's good for the school. It's good for everyone there. Yes. What are um, the collaborations? among the other academies with this or the vision for that. I mean, if you have an engineering academy, math and science, and you have entrepreneurship here, mm -hmm. I think, you know, the collaboration as a senior project potentially would be in those businesses that can host multiple academies. So I don't know, is that a vision down the road or? Um, they don't currently work together right now in that way. Um, I certainly see the potential and I think some of it is relationships with other coordinators and figuring out how that works. Um, we have the partnership with the ATC, which is really nice because essentially within our strand, and I think Joel even, Joel Rubin talked about this yesterday with our kids, with our three strands, entrepreneurship, finance, and BIT. You know, really, you find one from each strand, you guys create your own company because you don't need three in that entrepreneurship strand. You need someone who knows the finance so and someone who knows the BIT. So um, hopefully we're creating a little bit of a catalyst within our own program through those three strands. Um, we, I certainly see the opportunities. It's just never been necessarily done before in the past with the academies. Everyone kind of stays in their own lane. If that makes sense. Okay. So we're, we're, but we're doing things differently on our end. So I'm not afraid to broach it in the future. We're just not quite there yet. <laughs> Charlie. Megan, I've had the pleasure of knowing you for a long, long time. And I've watched you grow and mature. And I'm very proud to call you my, my friend. And you, you, last year was a big year for Megan. She also got married. 
celebrating my first year of marriage on Monday. Uh, uh, I got married and opened an academy. There you go. <laughs> but, uh, but I, and I, my I, poor husband, he knows he takes a vaccine. I told Mr. Harris he made an outstanding choice in you. I was so pleased when you first were announced. I saw you in school, and you hadn't disappointed me because you're on there a lot, and I hear the kids talking. And I think I'm working for you next month in your in your deck your deck of department. So I'll have a first-hand experience. So awesome. let's go get them, Tiger. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, guys.